What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, before we dig in, I'm doing something special. This is only on YouTube, and if you're a part of our email newsletter, uh, I think you probably read the email to get to this video here. Now, here's what I'm doing. Over the next 48 hours, I'm running a special discount on our Perfect Client Blueprint program. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's a six module program that's going to show you step-by-step step how to attract and close clients that are investing into your program between $400 and $800 per month. All right, it's been one of our most popular programs that we've had uh, since we started Build My Sports Biz. Um, I've updated that program several times and I'm running a 50% discount. Now, if you want the discount, all you have to do is text me right now at 210-960-5771 I'm going to give you a coupon code, right? Once I give you that coupon code, you use that on the checkout page and you get the 50% discount right there, all right? It's gonna happen over the next two days. After that, the discount goes away, all right? I'm a very straight up person. It's gonna go away in two days. I'm not gonna like prolong this for the next year, all right? And that's my gift to you. I, I want you to go through it. I want you to get results. I promise you it's going to help you. Now, in today's video, right, I'm going to be talking about something that I know a lot of coaches out there that are either in business or they haven't started yet. This is probably something you need to be aware of if you haven't started yet. If you have been in business, I think you'll really be able to relate to me. Um, but I'm going to be talking about habits of bad clients that you work with. Now. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're a trainer, right? You're a trainer, you work with kids, uh, you might even uh, work with adults, you might be doing personal training for adults. To me, it doesn't matter. Like, you're working with clients, you're working with clients. And a lot of times, you might work with clients who complain, or they show up late, or they don't follow through, they don't stick with the, the plan, uh, or maybe they don't pay on time. What I'll tell you is, I have gone through every possible scenario with working with bad clients in the past. And I don't work with bad clients anymore because I have a very particular process on attracting good clients. And I talk about that in the Perfect Client Blueprint. Uh, this way you work with clients that you enjoy working with versus dreading working with them. Now, let me, I'm just gonna tell you a story uh, and I'm st I still cannot believe this happened. <laughs> uh, but this was probably seven years ago. All right, this was Ben 1.0, all right, seven years ago. And I was training this girl. Uh, she was about 10 years old, all right? And we were doing private soccer training. And I remember she would always show up late. And she would always show up late not wearing her soccer cleats. She'd be wearing her flip-flops. And she'd always had her, her cleats in her backpack. And I remember after our first session, I told her, I was like, hey, uh, when you show up, can you please have your cleats on? And it was like the next two months of time, she just showed up. She, I remember she had Adidas flip-flops. <laughs> she always wore those, those things out to my session. And it always took her like four or five minutes to put on her cleats, tie her cleats, get ready. And by then it was like, we were already 15 minutes into the session. And I could tell she didn't care about being on time. She did not respect me or my time. And obviously her parents didn't respect me or my time. Otherwise they would have showed up early and they would have told their daughter to put on their cleats. Cause I also told the parents, Hey, next time you guys come out, I really want her to be wearing her cleats. Uh, so we're not cutting into our session. So what happened though is I was really soft about um, explaining what my rules were. Back then I did not have any rules other than, you know, if, if someone was not showing up on time, I would try to tell them, but there was no agreement. There was, there was no contract. There was nothing that stated this is what my expectations were. So I ended up training a lot of uh, clients that should not have been in my program. 
And if you're watching this right now and you're like, oh man, every time I go out to, to train this kid, I always get this headache because they never show up on time or they don't want to be there. They're not committed. And like, I'd so much rather be watching ESPN in this hour than going to train this kid, even if they're paying. Right? And I know there's a lot of clients out there that you've either already worked with or you are going to be working with in the future that will do that to you. So how do you protect yourself from that happening? Well, you need to have expectations for yourself. You need to have expectations with your clients. And here's what happened with that girl, right? After about two months, I remember we had a session and down here in Texas, obviously very hot, right? In the summer, it gets to like 100 degrees, uh, 100 plus, and the humidity is like 3000%, right? And we were out there, I remember, I remember this very vividly. It was four o'clock, that's when our session started, and it was in the summer. And at the park that I used to train her at, there'd be a lot of mosquitoes. I hate, like mosquitoes love me, I hate mosquitoes, right? Even if I put on like some repellent, they always find their way to get me. And I got out there early like I normally do, right? I got out there set up 20 minutes before, and I already knew in my head they were gonna be late. And so I was already mentally preparing, to, trying to be happy and, and excited when she got there. And she showed up, I remember it was 27 minutes late. Like I remember the exact amount of time because I remember 15 minutes into it, I called the parents and I was like, hey, uh, just confirming, we're, we our session started at this time. I have a, a client who's coming an hour later. And they were like, okay, cool, we'll be there. All right, they're 27 minutes late. All right, guess who's wearing flip-flops again? All right, there you go, <laughs> easy answer. So she's wearing flip-flops. And I'm like, all right, there's no way I'm going to, to continue to do this. Like, this is just not, it's not fun, it's not fair, and I feel like completely dis, uh, disrespected here. And so what did I do? Well, I wasn't just gonna let it happen again. So I asked the girl straight up, hey, why are you here? Right? And she goes, well, my parents are paying you to train me. That's, that's why I'm here. And I was like, okay, great. So do you wanna be here? Nope. That's what, <laughs> that was her response. Nope, I don't wanna be here. And I was like, Okay, cool. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit over here and I'm going to get ready for my next session because the player who's coming here that's your age wants to be here. And then she just went quiet. She went to go sit over there. Uh, and then I waited for her parents to get there. They showed up and they went home. The last time I saw her, because guess what? I wasn't going to let it happen again. So I called the parents. I told them, hey, I'm cutting you guys from my program. Now, when I made that decision, my business was so much better in the future because I stopped dealing with clients who were not treating me with respect, right? And I promise you right now, if I would have let that continue to happen, I would have continued to train them and I would have gotten more clients that were like that that didn't respect me. And the, the funniest part about it was a couple years later, I went to go train um, a player that was, you know, this was like, I think this was three years later, uh, that was on that same girl's team. And I asked, because uh, I knew they were on the same team, I asked, uh, you know, how, how that player's doing. They were like, yeah, they're just really lazy, and they don't really want to be here. Um, and I was like, yeah, I, I used to train them, and that's why they're not in my program anymore. And I went to go watch them play in a game. And the girl who was very uncommitted was not playing, she was on the bench. So it proved to me, there's, there's no way I could have continued working with that player. They were not going to change. The parents were stubborn, they were not gonna change. And it taught me a valuable lesson that from day one, I should have control of who I train. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, 
and you want to have control of who you train and you want to work with really committed clients, take me up on the 50% discount, right? All you have to do is text me at 210-960-5771. I'll send you the coupon code for the perfect client blueprint. That program has helped so many coaches now who are charging premium for their program. And if you want to do that and you want to have really committed clients, reach out to me, send me a text right now. I'll send you the coupon code. It's all yours. All right. All you have to do is text me and just make sure that happens in the next 48 hours. All right. If you text me after two days of when this video goes out, I'm just not going to give it to you because I only work well with action takers. So that's it. Send me a message and I'll get that over to you uh, very quickly.